What's up, guys? It's Power Bang. Uh, we are halfway through Battle Day um, in our current war, and we have some pretty cool attacks to show today. So what I want to do is get straight into it, and we are going to highlight um, probably we'll do four raids right now. Um, again, we're not even halfway through uh, the, f the war. We still have 24 attacks remaining. Uh, we're in a 20-man war, and the clan that we got matched against has just an absurd amount of Town Hall 10s. All the way down to, I believe, uh, number 16 uh, are Town Hall 10s. They have a couple Town Hall 9s mixed in there um, at 13 and 14, but uh, just an absurd amount of Town Hall 10s. They have 14. A lot of these are pretty weak. Um, most of them do have Infernos, but they're a lot of rushed bases, a lot of unorthodox designs. Um, you know, it, it, But at the same time, we only have five Town Hall 10s, uh, quite a few Town Hall 9s, and then we have three... Uh, town Hall 8s at the bottom here. They only had one Town Hall 8 and just a, a couple Town Hall 9s to choose from, so it's a very weird war. A lot of our lower guys um, are either having to step way up above where they they should, or they're just kind of throwing out some scouting attacks to, to help some of our uh, stronger players with these Town Hall 10 bases. So, without further ado, let's hop into this first attack here by Because 2. It's on their uh, number 10. And uh, you'll see it's a Town Hall 10, a very rushed base. At the same time, it's got a couple uh, Inferno Towers. One of them is on single, and he's going to come at this base with hogs. Now, the first thing that he's going to do is lure the clan castle, um, like we always do, bring that out to the side here, and deploy his uh, clan castle kill squad. A um, couple barbarians are going to go down as a distraction. He brought the witches in the clan castle. Um, skeletons coming up to distract those wizards, and then he drops a few wizards behind to take care of those troops. Um, he's put down his golem and broken through the wall, and what he's going to do here is double duty with his uh, uh, kill squad. He's going to be able to move in with his kill squad and his heroes to basically help uh, take out this queen. Now he's already uh, locked onto that queen with his king. The hogs are coming in. Um, what he plans to do is move as quickly as he can through this base to get those infernos down he's got heal spells waiting for them um, you can see them getting pretty weak as he's uh, moving through this base here luckily uh, the defenses are pretty low level and they're really not able to do much to his hogs so as they move through the base he's able to take out that upper single inferno um, that goes down the the expo goes down up there uh, the bottom of the base still has all of his kill squad up the the witches the wizards both heroes are still at full life um, continuing to move through the, through the base, he's got one heal that he's held back. Uh, as soon as that giant bomb is triggered, he drops his heal, and the uh, hogs in the bottom portion of the base are able to clean up the final defenses, and uh, the heroes here will lock on to the opposing Barb King and go ahead and take that out. Um, as soon as that happens, we're in cleanup mode. The giant bombs have been tripped. Uh, we've gone ahead. Uh, we still have a golem completely unbroken. Um, you know, at this point, we're in cleanup time. We'll fast forward, and uh, that's another three-star raid for, for Because. He's on a roll right now, so uh, great raid, Because, and uh, he'll take out the Town Hall last for the three-star. All right, so moving on, we will uh, scroll down the list here to, uh, looks like number 15. We have uh, an attack by JLCs, one of our town hall nine guys that has come up to attack this town hall 10 this particular town hall 10 is really weak uh no infernos rush defenses uh air defense on the outside so he's gonna take full advantage of that he's gonna drop his heroes um, take out the enemy queen and at the same time uh in the bottom right hand portion of the base you'll see two air defenses that he's able to uh um latch on to um, so he's gonna go ahead and take those out as well so he's gonna bring out the uh, troops that he did lure out and drop a balloon on them uh, doesn't quite get them all but it's just a bunch of archers it's not really gonna do much to his uh, to his air raid um, gonna clean those up with a few archers and uh, barbarians of his own and then gonna start in on the uh, right hand portion of the base um, taking out the uh, Barbarian King sent in a lava, lava Hound. Uh, a couple balloons to back that up. They're targeted to the air defenses, so he wipes out those air defenses uh, immediately. And you'll notice he left up the air defense on the left to help his Lava Hounds pass uh, around the base so he can basically bring those balloons in. And you'll notice as they uh, encircle this base, the balloons come in targeting each specific defense. 
Um, that's the way to do it. Uh, the first Lava Hound goes down, and you'll see the Rage Spell starting to come in as the balloons get uh, closer to the core. Um, Clan Castle troops have, have been pulled out, and normally you're going to want to make the lure here and take those out, um, but it, it's actually a blessing in disguise in this raid because they'll lock onto his Lava Hounds and help him later in the raid um, so that he has enough uh, to clean up. So uh, the, pup, the pups have come out. The, there's one Lava Hound remaining right now. He's dropping rage spells for his balloons as they work around to uh, clear out the rest of the defenses of this base. And you can see they're starting to get a little bit low. He still does have a uh, Lava Hound up. There are no air defenses left, so uh, the pathing is the same as the balloons. They're going to go from defense to defense. Um, still that one wizard uh, running around shooting his uh, Lava Hound and his balloons. And you'll notice uh, as they get to the last defense here, he's got minions heroes uh, coming in from the, the sides to help clean up. Um, Looks like there's uh, one more Lava Hound, and the balloons have all gone down. He's got pups coming in from the left to clean up, and that wizard is just going to town on his Lava Hound. So I found this pretty funny. It breaks into pups, um, throws down a rage to, to get the pups uh, through all those high H HP storages and the town hall. And this raid's a wrap. The CC troops are finally dead. They move in on it. He takes out the, rem the remainder of the base, and that's going to be three stars for JLC. So nice raid. Um, if I had to say anything, um, bring out the clan castle troops and kill them when it's an easy, uh, easy lure like that. So nice raid, JLC. Moving on to the next uh, three-star raid we have here, we'll look at Stevo's raid on their number 16. Another town hall 10. Another town hall 10 that's rushed with no infernos. Does have the the expos. Um, he's going to drop some barbarians here and bring out the uh, clan castle troops and go ahead and get that kill done. He's going to. Uh, drop his CC kill squad on the right here, which is going to take out an air defense for him as well as the clan castle troops, and it will also take out the barb king. So, um, loses a couple troops here because the expo is in range, and that's kind of a weird placement outside the base. You know, it's it's easy to take out, but you know you're going to lose a little bit more out of your kill squad than you normally would. Um, just because your skeletons are going down at a much faster rate. So he gets the Barb King down here, and you'll notice on the other side, as soon as that's done, um, he's got his Barb King going in, and it's going to hopefully uh, lock onto that queen. He's able to rage him up, and as soon as she shoots, he's locked onto her. He comes in, and in two swings, he will take her out. So mission accomplished there on the, on the uh, queen. Air defense down on the right, and now he's sending in his hounds and his loons from the top uh, left portion of the base, and uh, he's just basically taking it apart in segments. And as that uh, hound finishes up top, it's moving down to the bottom portion of the base, and the loons are just coming from top to bottom, um, taking this base out. So the air defense is uh, nearly dead um, in the bottom portion of the base. He had some uh, hog riders come in earlier and wipe the other air defense that was down there. I forgot to mention that as it happened. Um, but that's where the other air defense went. Um, balloons have made their way through almost all of the defenses now. Uh, they just have the air defense to kill, one Tesla in the middle, and they've got those little uh, skeleton traps that are targeted to air that are taking out some troops and kind of hurting him there. Um, his uh, minions up top are basically hero status right now as uh, they're, they're wiping out everything. So the defenses are down. Um, he's got a couple balloons left, and that's about to change as they go down to the skeleton trap troops. Um, luckily, the queen uh, gets in range here before the skelly traps do too much more damage. Takes those out, and now we're home free. So the, the rest is just clean up. Uh, again, moving into the town hall, taking that out at the very end for the three stars. And uh, nice raid, Steve-O, uh, st stepping up and taking out a, a weak town hall 10, but good job, man. And our last raid that I'm going to show for this video, for the sake of time, is uh, my attack on number 18 here. Um, normally, this is way below where I would actually attack. However, um, I've been waiting for an opportunity to find a hollow wee wee base uh, to... Uh, show you guys. So you'll notice the balloons going into the upper towers here, um, one for one trades on the archer towers. You'll see the same thing happen at the bottom. Uh, one balloon for each archer tower, two on each of the cannons, and that's going to trim the outer ring uh, so my hog riders that I'm going to send in uh, later do not have to deal with those. A couple balloons to the cannon on bottom, and those are going to then path up to the mortar um, to kill the 
mortar potentially and also lure the clan castle troops i've got a couple balloons on top coming in to take out that mortar and also path down to the teslas to see what happens there so they are able to get one of the teslas um got barbarians and archers coming in from the left to lure out the uh, wizards that came out of the clan castle a couple distraction troops go down then my witches to get those skeletons a couple wizards behind those and then finally the archer queen it's a standard cc kill method that you're going to see used by um, really quite a few successful attacks so um, the cannon up there did take out a couple of my witches and wizards um, i was a little bit late on my golem bringing that in i was supposed to attract the fire um, from that upper cannon there but uh, jump spell goes down you'll see my hero uh, my barb king will come in and lock onto that queen as soon as that happens rage him he just kills her in one shot and then also jumps to the, the the opposing barb king next and kills him as well the hog riders come in and uh, that was intended to be a two finger drop so the pathing was a little bit off um, of where i wanted them they're standing in heels basically the whole time as they hit these bombs um, got a heel for the the hogs on bottom and i wish the heels were on a little bit more uh for this raid the the hogs were supposed to come in at two different angles but uh due to doing this on my phone with a tiny screen it just didn't work out well so you know if you have a tablet i recommend using it uh, the hogs continue they're all pretty much at full life taking out the last defense here um now we're just in cleanup mode plenty of hogs left plenty of uh you know cleanup troops left both heroes are still standing um, queens at full life and uh, pretty much just wrecked this base so um, hollow wee wee is a very formidable strategy um, for taking out bases where the air defense is centralized and does not cover the point defense that's uh, on the outer ring of the base so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video I'm gonna have probably a part two coming from this war there's a lot of unique bases that are not your um, standard attacks we've had to craft some armies to take out um, specific base styles so um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, be bringing some more content very soon. Apologize for the delay. I actually was in the hospital the last week having a baby. Not me, my wife, uh, but uh, that's where I've been. So um, appreciate the, the slack you're cutting me and getting some content up. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos coming real soon. So uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Power Bang, and I will catch you next time.